Miss Senate, Dr. Rachel, come on up here. How can people begin to process, I mean, how do people begin to process the shame and anxiety they've internalized about their bodies, even doctors? Yeah, it's tough, right? Yeah. It's hard, that's why we're here. And the first thing we need to do is acknowledge that it's shame and we're putting a label on it, mm -hmm. right? I think it's so important that we're acknowledging what this is and that it has a lot of emotion tied to it, right? We, we're hearing you know, embarrassment, we're hearing anger, right? We're hearing all of these different things and we have to acknowledge that and understand where this is coming from. Mm -hmm. And I love what Rodney had said yeah. in terms of it's the past and what I want to add to that is we don't need to go back there, but we need to acknowledge and understand it in order to move forward. And now we can move forward. And now what are we going to do with that? Right. right? We can't carry it with us forever. We yeah. have to let it go. I think that's right. It's not an excuse. It's an explanation. Exactly. It's not an excuse. Right. It's an explanation for understanding. So once Rodney gets that... He's not using it as an excuse. It's, it right. explains why he's felt this all these years. Exactly. And now you can move forward exactly. once you acknowledge and accept that, right? Absolutely, yes. Okay, why is the shame about our bodies so tied to our perceived value? It's more than money, because lots of people make different salaries and they're okay with that. The career success, lots of different levels of careers, fame, family, friendship, nothing seems to do it the way the perception of our bodies. Is that because of the diet culture that we heard Marissa talking about earlier? Yes. Well, it definitely comes from diet culture, right? We have to think about body image and body image is tied to so much, right? Body image influences our self-esteem. Yeah. It influences our self-worth. We can't think about who we are without thinking about our bodies. Our body is a part of us. Right. Not the necessarily thinking about the appearance, but our society values thinness. Yeah. It values appearance. It values image. And because of that, it's related. And our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors are all linked. So if we are thinking negatively about our body, right. we are thinking negatively about ourselves. We don't think we're capable. We don't think we're confident. Then that's going to impact our behaviors. Are we going to wake up in the morning not doing something that makes us feel good because we feel bad, yeah. right? So yeah. it's all related. And because of that, we have to make change and we can slowly make shifts in our brain and retrain our brain. We've learned these messages. We've learned them, but we can also unlearn them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about the swirl of opinions because now what we were talking about earlier, it feels like there's shame from all sides. So you have the doctor who's ashamed of letting her family know. You have so many people who are on these medications who are acting like they're not because they don't <laughs> want anybody to shame them. And I, I mean, I understand that. You have people who are afraid to go on the medications. You have people who are judging the people who are on them. You have people who are judging the people who are not on them. How do we begin to move past the judgment? Yeah, so it's hard. Right, we know that there's judging happening. Yeah. As humans, we compare. I hate to say it, but we do. Yeah, we do. We compare and we judge, and we can do a few different things. I think one, we can turn inward and focus on ourselves. Right. At the end of the day, what matters? Us and our health. Does it really matter at the end of the day what somebody says to us? I know that we're going to internalize it and we're going to carry it home with us. Well, it certainly does but, hurt. Right. It but we, hurt. but we have to be better than that. Right. We have to tell ourselves to focus on what is in our control. I can't control what you're gonna tell me, but I can focus on how I interpret it, how I perceive it. And am I gonna take it home with me or am I gonna throw it in the trash and but let it, it go? What we were saying earlier, what, what Jen and I were saying earlier about being grown ass women, can you say ass if you're a doctor? I wanna say ass, okay. can I? <laughs> <laughs> what, what we were saying about being grown ass women is, is that feels like the root to me. That feels like yes. allowing people who are grown people to make the decision for themselves that's best for them and letting us reach the point of accepting people right. as they are, not for what they have to offer in their body, but what they have to offer us from the spirit of themselves, from the heart of themselves. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And we, we have to accept ourselves for who we are and the choices that we make because we have a choice, right? I'm gonna make the choice that's best for me, but it may not be best for you. Yeah. But we have to remind ourselves of that. Yeah. Right? That my choice is not your choice. Well, the right. thing that's been really exciting for me to learn is that 
my body isn't everybody else's body. Because one of the things I've been thinking all these years is like, how come that person has such willpower? How come they can do that and I can't do it? How can I? Then I realized they weren't even thinking about it because they don't have the same brain, they don't have the same hormones, they don't have the, they don't have the same genetics. Exactly. Yeah. So we need to get to that. Yes. Is it about empathy? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have to understand that everybody has their own stories. We're hearing so many of them tonight, mm -hmm. but everybody has their own stories. I always say we don't have post-it notes on our forehead telling each other our struggles, telling each other our stories. So we have to be kind and stop assuming. If we want, be curious, right? Be yeah. curious and ask questions to your friends. Be supportive, but we can't make assumptions and judge. Yeah. Everybody has their own story and everybody has their own body yes. and everyone is is, is different. different. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you so much. Yeah.